I'm thrilled but, to meet you too. I, I, it's, uh, yeah. First of all, you're an amazing artist. Congratulations so to much. Grammy nominations. Oh my gosh, thank you. That. Yeah. It's so crazy. Also, this is, I was realizing backstage too, I'm like, this is the first time I've been like on the Ellen couch. Like, I've always really? just performed here. Yeah, I was like, I'm kind of nervous. So, two Grammy <laughs> nominations. Where were, yeah. were you when you got the news? So, where were you at? Man, so I was not expecting it at all. I mean, I got nominated in, uh, for my Christmas album for best. Which is great. Traditional pop vocal. The names are like so long. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, Dolly Parton is like in that category. Right. And like, all these legends, and I'm just like, it's it's wild. But I, yeah, I got the call from my publicist, and I just, I didn't even know why she was calling. I, I didn't even know that like the nominations were being announced that day. I was just like, not. That's in the, the best loop. way to find out. <laughs> that that whole yeah. thing where you wait all night and sit by the phone. I've been there before when it doesn't ring. So it, congratulations, <laughs> you did it right. Yeah, it was it was it was a huge surprise and a huge honor. I'm it I really hope is. I, I get to go. Well, it's well deserved I, too. <laughs> thank I mean, you. I, I, so you must love Christmas, first of all, with a Christmas album and a movie now that's that's coming out. That's yeah, it comes out yeah right around Christmas. Yeah, and it's not necessarily a Christmas movie at all, but it's. I love animation, first of all. You play a very convincing elephant. Thank you. In this, I tried and, my and, hardest. You know, I, I I think it's an amazing thing to watch somebody go venture into these other other things. What's it like recording all of that voice work for you? It's it's really fun, and and you have to just not be scared to be silly. Like it, it's because right. it's very awkward. Like I, this is my first time doing voiceover work, so thankfully I had our amazing director Garth Jennings, who is just like a kid at heart, and so we would just be in there. It was sim similar to like being in a in a. Oh yeah, hey. Get that. <laughs> it's a beautiful. Christina. Yeah, and it's similar to being you know, in in a recording booth, like just recording a song. So that part felt comfortable. Like I already knew kind of how to do that part. But it's a lot of repetition. I mean, there would be times where they'd be like, okay, this, because right. so, you don't see anything either. They're just explaining everything to you. So they're like, okay, this scene, you're like falling down a hole. And so we need you to like make noises like you're falling. And I'm like, well, I've never fallen down a hole before. So right. like, but I imagine it would sound like this. And then you just kind of try things and it's really awkward and weird, but they somehow make it sound great. <laughs> so now you, but she's, you, you guys probably know, you've been doing this stuff since you were 10 years old. You were on Star Search when you were 10, yes. right? Yes, Oh. Oh, wow. I look so small. How did you do? How would that go? That, <laughs> did you win I, or? I for, did I win? I forgot. It's a blur now. I, I think I won like one of the rounds. Right. And then didn't make well, the It all worked out. It, worked <laughs> it all out worked really out, well. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The other thing I want to talk about today is you have a children's book coming out, which is all I yes. read are children's books. Oh. Um, so tell us about that, because it's a great idea what you can Yeah, with. so it's called, it's called the Curly Girl Blues. As you could see in that last photo, I did not have curly hair because I was really self-conscious really? of my hair growing up. And I had this kind of crazy, you know, wavy curly hair, but I, uh, I just, I hated it. So the, the inspiration for this book is you know to hopefully help other kids and inspire them just to like embrace what makes them unique and learn to love themselves while also celebrating you know the differences of their friends and the people around them too. So I hope you. That's great. Good yeah. for doing that. I, I think that's one of the easiest ways to reach kids is with that. And yeah. bravo for all the things you're doing. I'm so Thank honored you. to finally meet you. I can't you wait too. to see uh, the movie, and I I think it's going to be even bigger than the first one. Everybody, uh -huh. Tori Kelly. Thank you so much. Sing 2 is in theaters now, and the Curly Girl Blues will be available early next year. We'll be right back.